who made with look at this guys good afternoon beautiful people today i'm going to be making wheat wheat flour you can use your wheat flour to bake your bread you can also use it to make your swallow for us over here in nigeria who love swallow so much like you want to wash your weights you are diabetic you don't want to be eating like fufu semolina all those stuff you eat wheat so this is a wheat this is it this is how it looks like i have picked it very very well thoroughly yeah very very well i pick up the stones and all the dead or wanted things inside i've picked everything so I'm, what i'm going to do now is to lie it in my baking tray yes you had me right i'll be lying this on my baking tray i'll be baking it <laughs> i'm going to be baking this like i want it to be crispy dry i don't want a situation whereby I will grind it and because it's not too dry, it will not be smooth. So that is why I want to bake it on my oven so that it will be very, very crispy and it will be very easy. It will be easy to grind, thereby giving me a very smooth powder. So let's get started. I've tried it before because I used to use it to make my tongue brown. And that reminds me, very soon I'm going to be uploading a video on how to make some brown nutritious some brown so i'm going to be baking this on my oven i can't really say how many minutes but i will sure put that on the screen okay so i'm going to be baking it when i put it inside the oven i'm going to be, i'm going to be checking it like after 10 minutes i will check it i will still turn it around because i'm not going to be taking you through all that because i am filming with my phone and bet me or trust me i don't like to use my phone in the kitchen whenever i'm using my gas to avoid the story that touch the heart those of you in nigeria you understand what i mean so this is it i'm going to be putting this into my oven i have this is four like this four baking tray the quantity i'm making today is one custard bucket of wheat meanwhile i'm preheating my oven already I set it for 15 minutes as 250 degrees Celsius. But once I put it inside the oven, I'm going to reduce it to 180 degrees Celsius. So let's get started. Okay. Our wheat is ready. I baked it for 20 minutes. Look at it. See it. It's ready. I baked for 20 minutes. So it's going, it's going to be very dry, like it will be easy to blend now. So I'm going to allow it to cool down completely before I will take it to the heavy duty grinder. Got it. So I allow it to cool very, very well. Then I will take it to the heavy duty grinder. Here is our wheat, guys. Our wheat is ready. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the smoothness. Let me bring it closer. Look at the smoothness. It's very, very smooth. You can enjoy wheat with any soup of your choice. You can also use the wheat flour for your bread. Use wheat for your wheat bread. Just mix with all-purpose flour and you will enjoy it. You can also add it when making your banana bread. You will love it. So this is our wheat, guys. Our wheat came out very, very well. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. So I'm going to be pairing this with some Okay, we we'll see. Look at this. Look at it, guys. Look at it. See it. Thank you for watching. So, guys, 
let's make our wheat. I'll be using one cup of water. Please make, make sure you measure your water whenever you are making, whether your, your wheat, your semu, anything, even ever, measure the water. Use accurate measurements. Our water has started boiling. Let me show you. You can see. So, let me start. I'll be using one cup of wheat. This is a one cup, 250 ml cup. can see it very well. So I'm going to be adding some water. So with that, I will cook it for like three minutes. That the wheat will be properly cooked okay guys our wheat is ready it's ready look at this Okay, this is exactly the consistency I want. Remember that it will be lighter when it's very hot. Then when it's cooled down, when it cools down, it becomes a bit stronger. So now I'm putting off the heat. This is exactly the consistency I want. If it were like I want to use it for maybe a bono soup or a cup. I will make it to be lighter, but I will be using it for a goosey. So our wheat is ready. I'm going to tie this into a white nylon because I'll be eating this later, not now. this I'm going to... okay guys this is our wheat later this is it this is it almost very hot this is it 